Hey, what's up guys, TakiK here and today I'm gonna be showing you how to install Need for Speed 2 on Windows 8, 7 or Vista. So without any further ado, let's get started. But before, please click on that subscribe button because that helps me a lot and all of my videos are coming out pretty soon so make sure you don't miss them. So now before we start, we have to download three apps, which is DG Voodoo, and Glide, and Microsoft Application Compatibility Toolkit. But first, we have to start with the game itself. Install the game, uh, ISO, RAR, or disk, uh, your choice. And then all you have to do is just go to the directory of the game, which is we need for Speed 2, obviously. And then in the, uh, search for a file called install.win or nfs. If it is nfs, then you have to replace it with win, which is win. Now we are done. We have to work with the DG Voodoo. All you have to do is just grab that RAR file or zip file and then put it on your directory of Need for Speed 2, extract it and you can just you know get rid of the uh, zip file now. We are done with DG Voodoo. Now we are going to be working with Anglide. Install Anglide like uh, you do with all of uh, like all the softwares and stuff. You know, you just, just don't have to bother at all. Install and that's it. It should be finished within seconds. Now we are going to be working with Microsoft Application uh, Toolkit, which you have to install and then start the 32-bit 32 32 one. Now click on Fix and then just give a name like Need for Speed 2C and then give the vendor name like EA and then browse the game like you would do. So just go to the uh, directory of Need for Speed 2 in my case, yeah, Need for Speed 2 and select nfs2.c.exe. Just um, ignore the first one and then this is where you take place in compatibility fixes. Now there are a lot of stuff to check. All you have to do is just check the ones that are on the right side of the screen right now. This is the one that you have to check these are the ones so pause the video and do it while I do that too but I'm gonna be pretty fast so yeah just pause the video take your time and check the ones well now after we are done checking them all you have to do is just save the file with the database name whatever you like just give it a name and then click on ok and the file name should be nfs2.sea the one that you uh, you know checked so nfs2.sea and replace with the original nfs2.exe now click on install uh, on the file section on the top left corner and it should just you know just give a success and all you have to do is just start the nfs2.sea and you should be able to run the game so thanks for watching guys if you like the video please click on the like button because that helps me a lot and also don't forget to subscribe because a lot of videos are coming just like i said before the video started and you don't want to miss them out and also follow me on instagram and facebook that helps me a lot yeah because you know you get instant updates and stuff but anyways guys that was it i'm tag and as always thanks for watching